Here we have a graph that's plotting pressure in pascals against volume in cubic meters. And the scatter plot is a really good example of a case where you'd like to take the inverse of a variable. We know from previous experience in my classes that if you take the inverse of the horizontal axis when you have this shape, quite often it will linearize the data. So I'm going to show you how to create a calculated column that will do that in vernier graphical analysis. The first thing to do is select the ellipses after any of the variable columns and add calculated column is one of the options that pops up. So you click that. Uh, there will be a default name. You probably want to change that to keep the record clear. So I'm going to call it inverse volume because that's what we're going to be calculating here. The units of volume are cubic meters. So you have a bunch of options here. I'm going to just go 1 divided by meters cubed. And here's the important part. <clears throat> to put the expression in, we click on the insert expression. And graphical analysis gives you a number of pre-canned options to choose from. Uh, in all of these examples, A and B are parameters that you set, and the X's and Y's are columns that already exist in your data table. So we want to take 1 divided by our volumes, so we'll click A over X. So our parameter is 1. You can reset that if you need to, but 1 is what we want. And we don't want pressure. We want 1 over volume, so we'll click on that. Click Apply, and you'll notice over here that inverse volume has been calculated for us. The other thing that happened is it automatically changed the horizontal axis to inverse volume. Sometimes this happens, sometimes it doesn't. If it doesn't, you just click on that button and select what you want to be plotted on that axis.